the bloodshed in Kosovo, how many more Albanians must fall before Europe and the USA denounce Vucic for war crimes? The ongoing turmoil in Kosovo has cast a dark shadow over the region, as Albanians continue to suffer the consequences of violence and aggression. Despite repeated acts of terror, Europe and the USA have yet to denounce Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic for his role in these war crimes. This article passionately addresses the alarming situation and urges the international community to take a stand against Vucic's actions. The unrelenting violence, Kosovo, a fledgling nation born from the ashes of the Yugoslav wars, continues to face grave challenges. The recent violent attack by Serbian extremists in the northern part of the country, resulting in the death of a Kosovo police officer and the injury of another, serves as a stark reminder of the persistent hostility faced by Albanians in their own land. This brutal act of aggression should serve as a wake-up call for the international community. Vucic's ominous role, amid this turmoil, Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic remains a central figure, one whose influence extends far beyond Serbia's borders. While Kosovo struggles to establish its sovereignty and protect its citizens, Vucic's government is actively supporting and orchestrating acts of terrorism against Albanians. The evidence is undeniable, yet international condemnation of Vucic's involvement in these war crimes is notably absent. The cost in human lives, the blood of innocent Albanians continues to be shed in Kosovo. Policemen like Afrim Bunjaku, who dedicated their lives to maintaining peace and security, being senselessly killed by armed extremists. How many more lives must be sacrificed before the international community acknowledges the magnitude of this crisis and denounces Vucic's role in perpetuating it? International silence, the silence from Europe and the USA is deafening. Despite the persistent violence and clear evidence of Serbia's involvement, diplomatic pressure and condemnations directed at Vucic and his government have been conspicuously inadequate. This inaction sends a disheartening message to the Albanian people, who have long yearned for justice and international support. A call to action, it is time for the international community to step up and condemn President Vucic for his complicity in these war crimes. Kosovo's sovereignty, territorial integrity, and the safety of its citizens are at stake. How many more lives must be lost before action is taken? The Albanian people have endured enough suffering and their cries for justice should not fall on deaf ears. Conclusion, the bloodshed in Kosovo is a stain on the conscience of the international community. The Albanian people have suffered for far too long, and it is high time for Europe and the USA to denounce President Vucic for his role in these war crimes. The world cannot afford to remain indifferent to the ongoing violence and aggression in Kosovo. It is a moral imperative to act swiftly and decisively to protect the lives and rights of the Albanian population and to hold those responsible for these atrocities accountable for their actions.